is more valuable, tougher, so it's a, it's a class dropping angle. This is a horse who won at Leicester, and I don't know. I was watching that race um, yesterday, actually, and and it was just that he he seemed to be a horse that was not really getting into a rhythm early, and he was outpaced, and he was a little bit on and off the bridle, and certainly was under a lot of pressure from from halfway out. But he managed to finish off his race so so well, and won by by two lengths in the end. So that is Max Ab, a little bit of a a chance for him to bounce back. We've seen he's good enough to score at Leicester. The trip shouldn't be an issue as we've seen him win over seven furlongs already. Of the others, we've got in the mix Ted Leal for Ed Dunlop, course and distance winner. And just uh, to the left of the shot, you'll see the Hamden and my tomb colours. They backed him last time out, but that was on the back of a win. Raced at Brighton, sent off two to one, fell out of the stalls and didn't get an awful lot of luck in the closing stages either. Was a wee bit unlucky. Has got winning form on the July course at the start of July, um, shaken up inside the, the final furlong there. And actually had a good kick, showed a, I thought what was a, a nice turn of foot that day. So he's another one that, that could have an opportunity to bounce back. And, and right down at the bottom, El Chapo for Richard Fahey has had Three starts, but always like to keep an eye on Richard Fay when he elects to to come down this route. Looking to this horse, he's he's obviously one you've got to respect on on the nursery debut. Uh, no great shakes so far. Is quite a, a big price. I thought Afina would be favourite, and I think she's probably the one that looks to be the most progressive. So I'll probably stick with her. Just seeing um, don't give up on Bob. Just playing around a little bit. Richard Fay with the bottom two. Finsbury Park is the the best backed of those and Max Ab for Mick Shan, as we've touched on, raced in Group 2 company last time out. So back into a nursery and a Class 3 would have a big chance to, to maybe get back to winning ways. So the last couple going forward, Finsbury Park is one of them and right out the back, Tad Leal as well. Let's get back and rejoin Alan. Thanks, Rachel. Just to two to load now, Finsbury Park coming in. Also waiting on Tad Leal. Finsbury Park now stall six. A one to low, Tad Leal and Dane O'Neill. Set to go. And they're off. They jump out then seven furlongs the distance for the side Sahel Saeed, Heathcourt Hotel, Nursery Handicap Stakes. And through the opening furlong, Finsbury Park is showing prominently in the orange. Towards the near side, Athena is right up with the tempo as well. Just behind those ends to the outside in the blue is Maxad. Tucked in behind in the white jacket is Midnight Wild. Alongside the yellow of Don't Give Up On Bob. Second to last is Tad Leal. And the back marker is El Chapo. But they're pretty tightly grouped as they continue up the home straight. The hat-trick seeking Athena. Disputing the lead with Finsbury Park at this stage with just over a half a mile to go. Maxab then to the outside, the top weight under D'Souza, then Midnight Wild, closely attended to by Don't Give Up on Bob, and then Tad Leal and El Chapo. They're racing now towards the final three and inside it, Athena with the lead. Athena by a half a length over Finsbury Park, Maxab with every chance there to the outside, one length away to Midnight Wild, then Don't Give Up on Bob with two furlongs to go, to the wide outside, Tad Leal, then El Chapo. They're racing towards the closing stages and battling here, Athena together with Finsbury Park, Max Ab and Tad Leal deep on the track. Midnight Wild is trying to come into it and then don't give up on Bob. Meeting the rising ground inside the final furlong and over to the far side, Tad Leal now lays it down to Max Ab. Finsbury Park and Athena in a great finish. It's Tad Leal and Max Ab. They duke it out at the line tight. Tad Leal and Max Ab in a close one. Finsbury Park in third. Then came Athena close up in fourth. This is a great race to watch and Max Ab and Tad Leal doing battle inside the closing stages. And on the far side, Tad Leal, near side, Max Ab. Finsbury Park will definitely be third, that's for sure. Athena further back, fourth, and they've all finished very close up here. It's a bunch finish, and I thought in real time, far side, but now I'm not too sure at all, actually. So what a what a race, and, and, and both of these horses, Ted Leal looking to bounce back, a beaten favourite last time out, Max Sab, who ran in Group 2 company last time out, 
back into a nursery and this is on the nod. Finsbury Parks ran well. Athena's battled. She's been up there for, for quite some time. She was on a, a hat trick, of course, but she's she shaped with a lot of promise. Uh, no time, I'm afraid, to hang on for the result. We will update you with that as soon as we can. As you can see, we are down at the start at Goodwood. First, the number one. So, 1, 3 and 5. And Max Ab has done enough to get the better of Tad Leal over at Newmarket. Uh, right, result to come. Let's go to Goodwood for the Grosvenor Sport Handicap Class 2 over at 7 furlongs and a field of 19 without number 11, MJ Jack. This is such a valuable race. 100,000 guaranteed. Ultimate Avenue at 5 to 1, number 7. Johnny Bynes at 13 to 2 for John Goldston. From eight to one, Truth or Dare, a winner last time, James Bethel, William Carson. Truth or Dare, 52, followed by uh, Raucus at 10 to one. Mukalal also attends, 14 to one certificate. And Masham Star, along with Frank Bridge. Burn Sugar is in there as well, straight right, 16s. And then it's 20 to one and bigger the rest. So they are putting them in. They're going to be jumping off here in a couple of minutes' time. Result from Newmarket on screen. Max Ab at 100 to 30 for Mick Shannon, beating Tad Leal at 9 to 1. And that was on the nod that uh, all seven ran for the 240. 245 at Goodwood, Ultimate Avenue is the favourite at 5-1. to one. We've got lots of these, though, that have got some, some nice form for the season. Ultimate Avenue, he's only had two runs this year uh, for Ed Walker. Jamie Spencer is on board this uh, three-year-old and looking to Ultimate Avenue and what he achieved last time out. He ran in a, in a Class 2 handicap at Newmarket, six furlongs behind Etikar and Tommy Taylor. And that was um, back on the 13th of July. So he wasn't beaten far and just not quite getting to them now that was off a 97 mark so goes up three pounds but he's very lightly raised cold bike celebration finished third on on the reappearance at kempton over the mile and then tackle six furlongs that next time up so this is sort of the the happy medium i guess with the the trip for ultimate avenue but he's been involved in some big big handicaps and it looks like that's the one they all want to be on the clear favorite as we go back and rejoin mark johnson for this ultra competitive grosner sport handicap now and that will be Easy Tiger. Easy Tiger with Noel Garbutt riding for Malcolm Saunders on this previous course and distance winner. Moves forward into 13 for the Grosvenor Sport Handicap. 19 of them in the gates. Movement in stall 15 from Mount Tehan, and they're off. Mount Tehan came out very awkwardly. Sutter County on his inside broke alertly, and he's right up there in the early going, and also right up there on the inside is Swift Approval, who's now been taken on by Mukalal. Mukalal is now the leader, followed by Easy Tiger and Sutter County on the outside. On the inside, Swift Approval, and then the green colours of Massam Star, who is racing in fifth. Truth or Dare on the inside is in sixth. In seventh, as they take the turn, is Frank Bridge. Then very keen is Ultimate Avenue, who's followed by Certificate, who's on the outside of Fox Trotter, who's racing in midfield. Raucus is two further lengths behind. Mount Tehan is a long, long last, and right out the back of the field, last but one is Shady McCoy, as they make the run already down towards the halfway point, and it's Mukalal out in front now by two. Sutter County is racing in second, pushed along Easy Tiger on the outside in third. Truth or Dare, and then Massam Star towards the inside is Swift Approval. There then being followed by Ultimate Avenue, Fox Trotter on the inside is Johnny Barnes, Next in the field comes the light blue of Burnt Sugar, then Certificate, Raucus on that one's outside, Repton, and these are then being followed by Straight Right as they race down into the dip. They've got a full and a half to go, and it's still Mukalal, but he's drifting all over the track. Massam Star lunging down the near side. Johnny Barnes has got the rail to help. Truth or dare, Burnt Sugar is being to burst through as they race inside the final half furlong. Johnny Barnes and Robert Hart have the lead. Burnt Sugar is going to chase him all the way towards the line, but it is Johnny Barnes who wins. Johnny Barnes beat Burnt Sugar into second, in third came straight right, and then Mukalal, Fox Trotter, Massam Star, and on the inside, Bertie Whittle. Johnny Barnes wins a 13 to 2, Burnt Sugar, straight right, and Mukalal, straight on to Cartmel. We go where the runners are coming in for the 250 and a mare's handicap hurdle.
Northern Lights Mare's Hurdle Series, two miles and three quarters. River Icon, the five to two favourite for Ian Jardine, looking for a quick fire double following Golden Jeffrey in her opener. Pretty Miss Mahler at seven to two, and it's nine to two and bigger the rest. Not going to be too much longer. Let's rejoin David for the call. Cheers, Rachel. Just waiting for the starter to, to put the flag up. It's quite a good race, this. Four of them have won here before. And uh, they include Pretty Miss Marla, River Icon, Stuart Crawford with a couple in the race. Starter's flag raised. So coming in, and uh, they're off. Off and racing for the Hadwins Motor Group TBA Mayor's Handicap Hurdle. And it's a qualifier for the Northern Lights at Mayor's Series. Beyond Temptation leads to the first from Mini Milan, the first of ten. Pretty Miss Marla is over it in third place, the blue and white. And then the wine red of uh, Little Stampy, gold chain, maroon and white chevrons. To the outside, Whispering Affair, stable companion of the grey, a touch of sparkle. And a river icon held up by Ross Chapman at the back of the field. So just the one flight of hurdles on the wood side today, and they now leave that part of the course, and Beyond Temptation extends her advantage. She's done much of her winning at Hexham, and over a, a little bit shorter than today's trip as well. But she's gone off under Tommy Dowson, about eight to ten lengths clear of uh, Mini Milan in second place in the first time at Cheek Pieces. To the outside then, Pretty Miss Marla, a winner here under Ross Chapman last month, uh, Ross riding River Icon this afternoon. She's currently in.